Hey everyone, today I just wanted to bring you a how-to Polaroid video, so here we go. This is a Polaroid 600 Spirit CL. And this is an impossible project film for your Polaroid 600 types. And this is Polaroid film. The last batch of this stuff expired in 2009. I don't recommend buying this because your film might come out kind of crappy looking. But here are some pictures I've taken and if you like this style, by all means go for it. Back to impossible film. It's crazy sensitive to light and you gotta shield it from light every time you take a picture, blah blah blah. I'll just show you an example. Just take a selfie. Got to shield it from light and place it face down for 20, 40 minutes. However, you can buy a black and white film which develops in 10 minutes, but you still got to shield it from light. But 10 minutes beats a crap out of 40 minutes waiting. Problem with this is it's crazy expensive and you got to buy it from the Impossible Project. Now for us Australians, that kind of sucks because it's very close to $70 for one packet of film. So more about the camera. This light will turn green when it's ready to shoot. You hit the plunger and boom, you're ready to take a picture. You got a dark and light mode. You want to leave that on dark and with impossible film. Here are your focusing modes. You got 1.2 meters to infinity and your closest focusing distance if you hit that lever right there is 0.6 of a meter. So here are my favorite shots taken with Impossible Film. I absolutely love the results I'm getting. I love the color tones, it looks amazing. Um, I totally recommend checking it out. The only thing I'm not too keen on is the price, but eh, what are you gonna do? If you're not crazy about buying Impossible Film online as an Australian, or more specifically a Melbourneite, you can go down to the city to DigiDirect or Michaels to purchase Impossible Film. It's a bit cheaper there. And yeah, I'll leave more information in the description down below.